What's going on guys? Josh Sykes back with you. OutdoorNewsAmerica.com. Hello YouTube. Back at the range today here in Parts Unknown, Tennessee. I want to give a big shout out to my buddy Jerry Seiler for allowing us to use his range. Uh, he's got a great little private facility out here that's all his own. Can't tell you guys where this is, but it's a pretty phenomenal place. Um, so yeah, what I've got here today is something really, really cool. I'm really excited to share with you guys. And let's talk about this just a little bit. Probably one of the most um, well-renowned shotguns in the last 25 years is the Benelli M4. The Benelli M4, let's do a little history on this. This was, this was first invented in 1998 by Benelli. It was adopted by the United States military and some other militaries across the world. And a lot of law enforcement military to this day still use the Benelli M4. So why would anybody want to change the Benelli M4? Well, they have not, but people have wanted to copy the Benelli M4 for a long, long time. And many companies out there today are just starting to do that. They're starting to copy the Benelli M4. And why would they want to do that? Well, if you wanted to purchase yourself a Benelli M4, you're probably in that $1,500 to $1,800 range. And a lot of the regular Joes out there, like myself, that's a lot of money to spend on a shotgun, even though it's a top performing shotgun. So many companies uh, have looked to overseas production to try to mimic and copy the Benelli M4. And the one I have with me today is the latest one to hit the industry doing this. I want to show this to you and if you notice it looks almost exactly like the Benelli M4 except this one is made by look at that logo right there Military Armament Corporation. This is brought into the United States by SDS Imports Military Armament, Armament Corporation. I spent some time with my buddy Neil over at SDS Imports and Neil kind of informed me uh, that this product has gone through extensive t &E, it's gone through extensive testing, and it does not have a lot of the failures that some of the original copies of the M4 had. Now, where did those failures take place in some of the older versions? Well, this, this shotgun is a semi-automatic shotgun. It's not a pump action, semi-automatic shotgun. It's got a bolt that pulls back. You've got a bolt group in here, and this operates on a gas piston system. You've got two little pistons, piston rods that come down, and when you, when you shoot the shotgun, those piston rods push that bolt back. They connect to that bolt, push that bolt back, and what was happening with a lot of the earlier models not from SDS imports, but a lot of the earlier copies, is those little piston rods were shearing and missing. So the more they would shear on the points, eventually they started locking up and giving a lot of failure to feed problems. So um, SDS imports and Military Armament Corporation says they have solved a lot of these problems and those problems are not apparent in this shotgun. This shotgun has an MSRP of $562. I fully suspect in your local gun shop, you're gonna see this around probably the 530 to 550 price point. This is made in Turkey. This is a Turkish made shotgun, but it's really, really nice. 98% of the parts of this shotgun are interchangeable with an M4. That's pretty cool. So if something breaks on this, or if you wanted to interchange some parts with the original Benelli M4, you should be able to do that with this shotgun. So what are we gonna do with this here today? So we're at the range, we're gonna put some different ammo through this shotgun. We're gonna see how it, how it operates. I've not shot this shotgun yet. Uh, this will be my first time, it just come out of the box. We've got some standard Winchester target range right here. This is just the super target, 12 gauge, eight shot Winchester. I've also got some Wolf Power Buckshot. This is a nine pellet buckshot, double lot shot, double lot shot shell. Um, and I didn't go with anything super expensive because my philosophy on this is if you're buying a budget friendly shotgun, odds are you're gonna be buying budget friendly ammunition. So, hey, let's put our eyes and ears on. Let's shoot some, let's see how she performs. All right, guys, we got five rounds of the Wolf Ammunition Double Op Buck loaded into the Military Armament Corporation uh, military Armament Company, I'm sorry, a Military Armament Company, Mac 1014, five rounds, Wolf. Here we go. Seemed to perform really, really well. 
bolt locked back open, ready to rock. Let's try the Winchester. All right, guys, here we go. We got the Winchester. I got five plus one in it this time. Uh, let's run this, see how the Winchester performs. All right, we got a failure here. First failure, failure to feed right there. Let's see what happens with that. Push that back in there. Here we go again. Let's finish it up. Got five more left. Another failure right there. Not sure what's going on with that. Failure to eject. Let's try it again. Another failure. Failure to eject on the Winchester. Here we go. Again, does not seem to like that Winchester, guys. I don't know if that's a soft round. I believe it is a softer round than the Wolf. But I mean, it is failing every shot to eject the Winchester. Last one. Still did not eject it. So let's go back to the Wolf and let's see if it is a shotgun problem. Let's see if it's an ammo problem. Uh, my guess on this is if you get a soft shot load, uh, maybe there's not enough gas in this thing to properly eject those shells. So let's uh, let's give it a run on the uh, on the Wolf one more time. See what happens. All right, guys, here we go. I got five more rounds of the Wolf double up buck uh, loaded up. Let's see uh, let's see if she performs a little bit better. All right, it definitely likes the wolf. So I'm gonna say, based on what I'm seeing here, that, that some of the issues with this is you really need a hot load uh, to make this thing operate properly. I think the Winchester is just a little bit too soft of a load. Um, I think it's it's not uh, giving it enough enough power, enough gas to, re to cycle uh, that bolt all the way back properly. Um, especially since the wolf seems to be operating well through it. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's going to be my judgment on this so far. So, you know, as long as you're running a hot load through it, it seems to be doing really, really well. Um, so if you buy one of these shotguns, definitely recommend uh, the wolf double up buck uh, with it. Seems to operate pretty, pretty good. Just for the sake of doing it, I have uh, four more rounds of my wolf. I want to run this one more time to try to prove uh, my theory on this shotgun. I'm gonna run the Wolf ammo through it. Uh, then in my pocket, I've got four more rounds of the Winchester. I wanna see if, the, if, the, if it cycles this Wolf properly and then if it cycles the Winchester properly so we can kind of really gauge um, what's going on here. So here we go. We got the Wolf ammo in here first. Four rounds of Wolf, cycle just as it should. So now, let's try the Winchester. All right, we're gonna put one in the one in the battery there. Sorry, I dropped it. One in the battery. We're gonna load our other four rounds. And let's see if my theory is correct, guys. I really do feel um, that's probably what's going on here. Four rounds of the Winchester target practice load. Yep, just as I thought. Did the same thing there. Failure. Same thing there. Failure. All right, one, two, three. Make sure that's it. Four. Nope, one more left. That one's absolutely stuck. So yeah, <laughs> I do not recommend the Winchester target load uh, in this shotgun. Uh, just doesn't function at all. Uh, you'll be sorely disappointed if you try to run that through here. I'm gonna have to take this back and get this shell out. Um, 
Wolf is the way to go in this. Maybe some other slugs or, or heavy loads, but yeah, um, that's unfortunate, uh, but that's, that's how it operates. So there you go, guys. There's my review on this. I hope this helps you kind of make some decisions when purchasing your shotguns. Um, I don't think this is a bad shotgun. I just think you need to run the right ammunition through it. Hope this has helped you guys. Until next time, we'll talk to you soon.